friends and other friends. So I've got Local Drag's third album, their third album, Mess of Everything. Look at this wonderful cover here. We've got a sticker here, a hype sticker, telling you all about three of the best songs on the album, which I agree on. Yes, I do. Um, transparent blue vinyl with black smoke. Nice sounding. So, the cover art for Mess of Everything, it is a painting that my friend Tim Reynolds did, and I uh, thought it was cool. Uh, can I have it? And I put it on the wall, that's over there. Then I put it on the record, thought it was cool. On the back here, in case you were wondering the names of the songs, they're written here, plain as to see, Stardom Records, 10 tracks, I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5 on each side, probably. Uh, we've got the barcode, and we've got also included, this is a feature that I actually flip in love. A few years ago, right, I was uh, I was on my way down, down to the town centre here. Um, to buy myself uh, maybe a cup of tea or, uh, or some fish and chips like we do here in the UK and uh, someone was chasing someone and the other guy was running as fast as he could I don't know why he was chasing him maybe he'd stolen his favourite necklace or maybe he'd, uh, he'd lost out on an important bet anyway, he was running away he was spineless, you could say he was spineless, but thankfully this record has a spine which you can see here making the uh, the album three-dimensional and it also includes information on the album so within the album we have uh, white card on the inside well, just in case you're a collector of different color cards on the inside we have a printed inner sleeve I've not seen one of those for a while we have a printed inner sleeve, I like this look at this artwork there we have, um, with band man, Lanny sitting there, uh, enjoying life, probably enjoying life, unless he's putting up a facade. Maybe he's hating life, but making it look like he's enjoying life. I really don't know. Also, some fun stuff. So, on this record, I learned how to play drums, so I'm playing the drums on that record. So that's pretty cool. I do everything on it this time around because it wasn't like anyone was clamoring for new local drag stuff besides me, so I decided to do it all. Uh, except for there's some slide guitar, I'm sorry, some uh, pedal steel on the record that I didn't do. My friend Sky Wilmore did that. And uh, some of the lead guitar, those were done by my friend Neil, Neil Klein. Uh, but I did the rest. It was recorded, mixed, mastered, recorded by Luke, my friend Luke, Luke McNeil, at his house in his basement. Also available, these are available, so check them out. On this side we have the words from the different songs, song one. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, he's just highlighted the fact that it's got song one, but what about song two? Are you just going to disregard that? No. No disregarding song two. See ya. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, now you've just highlighted the fact that it's got the words for song one and song two. What about song three? Are you disregarding song three? No. It's here. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, and the same for the other songs. Words. So within, we have a transparent blue with black smoke. As transparent as it goes. I could only wish my windows were this transparent. Can you see me? I can see you. Uh, okay, so we have local drags, mess of everything, and the rundown of the tracks held within its uh, flexible plastic uh, valleys, pigs and valleys. We have um, uh, the lengths of the songs and the information about how to play the record, 33 RPM. That's how it spins. And the same on the other side. It's a nice looking record, isn't it? It's actually beautiful. 
I do like blue records, and uh, this one's, I think, above the ordinary with its smoky patches. It's a beautiful record. Lovely. I'm going to give this a listening to. Local drags, all right. Um, this is um, definitely, definitely what you'd expect from local drags. Although this time it's a smooth listening piece. This is more of a relaxed record. I think you could put this on in a car with your wife. Your wife, who might usually be like, "Turn that down. That's too banging. Oh, I don't want you listening to this loud music." All you could put this one in the car with your peaceful wife, and she wouldn't mind. She'd just sit back as well with you and enjoy the. Peaceful sounds and local drags. Uh, some of the songs on this, of course, have more of a country twang than previously, as uh, as you can tell in some of the riffs in the songs. Uh. Well, I thought I would go more, try for some more uh, mixing in some alt country sounds that I like. Try my hand at that a little bit. Just getting a little, uh, getting a little bored with the straight up, straight up power pop, or whatever you want to call it. So, decided to uh, add a little, add some shit to it, some spice, some variety, if you will. Because sometimes in the autumn, you just want to lie down and relax without having your head beating in with all this. Bang, bang, bang. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, after all, drumming is very important. But sometimes it doesn't have to bang into your face like a drum banging into your face. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was a good time. I remember having fun recording it. And, uh... I would say... It's a, a song I'm most proud of. Uh, probably one of the more ballad type songs on there, uh, Good For Nothing and Call You A Baby. Just tried to be, do a little more, a little more ballad action on there and it worked out all right, I think. Not too embarrassed by the ballads, so they're pretty cool. But I think the best song on the record is probably a Feeling In Stereo. It was one of those, one, one of those tunes that just came right out didn't have to work on it too long. Didn't labor over it. Just came right out. And it was probably the first one I learned how to play drums on. This is a solid nine out of many record. I should pick this up if I were you. Um, it's an integral part of a laid back pop punk uh, collection. If you have a pop punk collection it could be a nice part of it. Uh, and uh, anyway, what I'm getting at is if you don't have a laid back part of your pop punk collection, then you could start, you couldn't go wrong, you could start and you couldn't go wrong with this piece for your collection. Um, Just write the song and then record it. Hopefully it sounds good. I think it sounds okay. And then uh, Stefan from Stardom Records enjoyed it as well and released it. I think this is my second favourite Local Drags album, but I'm not going to say any more than that. I'm not going to poo-poo any, I'm not going to put any on a pedestal, but this one alone is my second favourite Local Drags album. Um, I like it a lot, and personally, my favourite song, the ones that stood out to me, was, um, was Call You A Baby. It's not exactly a rockin' song, but it's a good song, it's got a nice melody, it's fun, and even my wife liked it, which is nice. I like this album, it's very nice. Um, it's visually alluring with its blue vinyl, it sounds nice, and as a fan of the Starter Jackets, um, I started off um, buying the Starter Jackets 7 inch from um, Brass Neck Records here in the UK, 
with I Suppose on it and uh, those other songs uh, 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 Telephone song, I can't even remember what they're called without looking but uh, anyway I started off with that and I knew that I loved the starter jackets and from there I went on to um, to get into Decisions which was I think one of my favourite albums of 2017, 18? Um, it was one of my favourite albums and I actually still listen to it regularly now and I'm not just saying that, I listen to it maybe once every couple of weeks. I'll either put it on my streaming device or I'll put it on my rotary spinning turner and enjoy it a lot. And my very favourite song on that is actually um, the, the third track um, of which I can't remember what it's called. But that's a Lanny song anyway. My whole point is that's a Lanny song. And I just love his Lanny voice. Yeah, old Lanchester. I appreciate him a lot. Uh, I love the Lanny songs in the starter jackets. So therefore, of course, I'm a strong fan of local drags which is like an extraction from one band and making itself into another band. Check out this album. It doesn't have a wallpapered inside, unlike the second album by Local Drags. But uh, that is unless you like white plain wallpaper, in which case it does have a wallpapered inside. Thanks very much for watching my very, very in-depth review of the Local Drags album. Mesh of everything, as we pronounce it down here in the south of England. In the north of England, they'll probably say something like, Mess of everything, mate! Mess of everything, mate! They'll say that down in the south of England. Mesh of everything. That's the different accents we have here. In the English UK. Um, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe unless you don't want to. In which case you didn't, so well done. At least you made a conscious choice as an adult. I appreciate that. Uh, as an adult, you should have the power to make your own choice and make your own decisions. Start a jackets joke. And uh, so all the best. And I'll see you when the guts fall off. so much for watching my very good video don't forget to subscribe to the very good channel and come back next week for another very good video a video to watch now it's a good video